Great to see that the GF is revising the methodology for the transboundary diagnostic and the strategic action program and putting together the manual for project managers. Uh, it's really hard dealing with water issues, even nationally. They uh, cover all different types of sectors and the sectors have a hard time working together. Imagine now when you add the transboundary situation to that, where different countries have to work together. So something is needed to be able to help the countries actually analyze the situation and try to make it simpler so they can go ahead and work through these really tough issues little by little. And that's the whole point of the Transbounder Diagnostic and the Strategic Action Program, to try to simplify things and have countries step by step go through a process to deal with this. Transboundary waters are not really managed by transboundary commissions or other entities. Action is really by national sector actions that country agree to work together on and they all do the similar type of thing. Uh, the transboundary diagnostic is meant to be a simple process of putting together the issues that are problems as well as look at issues that are opportunities. For example, uh, the focus on water quality and water quality issues is, is certainly fine, but there are all sorts of other things nowadays that are important to water systems. Things like uh, climate is changing and warming, there are droughts and floods, there are groundwater interactions with surface water. So it gets so complicated that the transboundary diagnostic can really separate this geographically. It may well be that only one pollution issue between two countries is a concern in one geographic area. Another area might be overfishing. Another area might end up having uh, contaminants in the sediments. And then you could look at a whole different situation and it might just be flow issues. And the flow issues in each country where the water just gets less and less with water usage, um, in the end then it's a whole different thing. It's just about the water scarcity, about trying to get more conservation in all the sector water uses. So it's about simplifying a complex situation so the different sectors in each country can meet about this and determine what are the actions. So once there's a transboundary diagnostic, it's a great tool for participation. Participation with the science community that helps put it together, participation with the public. And perhaps the key part for GEF and every GEF project is the establishment of a national interministry committee in each country in which the project is undertaken, in which the basin exists or the marine system. So the, the national ministry, interministry committees should be part of the transboundary diagnostic process. And that way, then you start the process of trying to overcome uh, one ministry worrying about one thing and another ministry worrying about it. They all see that they're in it together and they all have something to contribute once you get through to the science and the technical pieces of that. Now that then sets the stage for the strategic action program, which is not really a technical document, but a policy document. Something that certainly is to be negotiated among the different countries. And that should deal with all sorts of policy, legal, and institutional changes that different countries may need to, to make, as well as the commitment to action of working together jointly in the larger transboundary system. So it's really a vision, a vision process of what the countries want to have in their transboundary systems, what they agree to. It should contain actions and reforms. It should have some objectives uh, and some targets of, of when they will achieve what, by what date. And of course, this should be costed out too. countries and depending on their political situations really should customize this process for each of them for the situation that exists. 
a situation for a river may be different than a situation for a marine system. And that's something in project preparation that uh, the country should talk about. And must remember always that simplicity is the key. Uh, that, that this is really a chance to have a participatory tool from all levels, from simple level of, of the, describing the issue to the community, uh, to local communities and villages, to the different sectors in the, in the uh, capitals discussing the issues, to the multiple governments when they meet with their foreign affairs ministries and understand this. So the simpler, the better, that's the intent. And the action program really is there to develop uh, next steps that GF can help fund. The manual is a critical piece as well that goes along with the methodology and the, the short course and the other materials. Um, it's really daunting to deal with any water resources matter. And as, as many of you know in your countries, when you add the layer of transboundariness to, to this and all the different sectors and upstream and downstream situations and groundwater and surface water, it's almost untenable. As a matter of fact, progress has not been made because decision makers throw up their hands. It's too complex. So the TDA SAP process and the project manual that goes along with it for the project managers are intended to help simplify this so that people can look at these issues geographically. Not all countries may have the same things to address. And that they look at that in, in unison so that uh, everybody can do their part to address the situation and sustain the resources. So uh, with that, it's really good to see some video being used along with the course. And uh, GF will be watching. Someday.